Welcome back viewers. In this video we are going to work on remove item from shop a card. So last video we have did here in update cards. You can see we have here we can update the cards and now we will work delete remove items from shopping cart. Um, let's start. First of all open your project. I am already in my project in VS code. Go to in cards folder then cards.py and last time we were here so now here I will define the route for deleting atoms so this will be first app dot route and here slash then I will give it delete item and then we have to pass of course this ID and that ID will be here I will make it integer and then this one we are going to do it with get request so we don't need anything else and here i will define this delete item and then here we'll pass the id and uh, then if shopping cart not in session and length of or here you can write or also and for me i am just writing here and shopping cart less than equal to zero then we are going to return redirect i will redirect to home page url4 and from here we will go to home page and if there is something inside shopping cart then we will work on our delete if shopping cart is available and it is greater than zero that means if there is something inside shopping cart then we are going to remove atom one by one then we are going to do try and i will first pass it and then accept exception as e print e and then here i will go to return redirect url4 and here the url will be get card this one and this one we will also do it here working we will go back here in the same directory so now what we can do first thing here i will do session dot modified this will, will be equal to true and the second thing i have to do I will start here the for loop for key item in session of shopping cart in shopping cart dot items then we are going to try if int key equal equal to id and then we are going to do then we are going to do session here is our shopping cart shopping cart dot pop and from session card we are going to pop this key and here will be none and this return i will make it come here with this session card so now let's try so now what we have to do I'll copy this name so we will go to here in card.html here you can see after the update button we have here delete button it is after the form so now i write here url4 url4 and then here we will paste this url and then here I will write here id equal to key and we are using this key because we are still in inside this for loop so in for is after this one and then then I will give it a bootstrap class and this class will be this class will be btn btn sm and btn btn danger and uh, 
the continue shopping because we are using the because we are using here navbar so you can see the last video we included here so we don't need here now continue shopping so you can go from there so this one will be, we will make it like checkout and we will work it later just and now let's try let's see if our program is running no there is something id doesn't exist okay so we the problem okay so we have to do id will be here and integer will be here so now let's see if it's working or not working now if i run the program again okay now it's running so i will come to here and see i'm going to delete the last one from here this one is removed and then i will going to remove this between apple watch and you can see this apple watch is removed and now if i remove this golden watch this one is also removed and when i remove the last one and here it's showing because we are still there so text reference before assignment so what can i do you can see in get card so we are using request refer so i have to do url4 and then i will give it name of home page if card is not in session so we will go back to home page so now what i have to do i will do here and length of this session is of shopping card so then zero and then we are going back to the home page and we have to use here or not and so for everywhere here i will use or so now this one is working hopefully if i go to here and add this one add this one and delete and delete you can see if card is zero we are going to back here so now this one is done and what can i do now the next thing is here you can see this one is not working and this one is also in programming there is one concept we will name it dry don't repeat yourself so if you come here in product routes you can see here we have these two queries we are displaying every route this route and also in get brand route and categories and here in one two three four and we are displaying these same in four plus and we have to display this also in cards so then we can get that drop down instead of this one i will define here two function one will hold brands and one will hold categories then we can display and import anywhere can display this one so let's start i will give it first get this one here we have a brand so i will give it one s this will be brands and from here i will just come and cut this one from here so we don't need this one after that and here just return the name of these brands so just like this second one will be here define categories i will just come here and cut this one from here and display here and then just return this categories variable so now you can see here we don't have too much codes now we put the name of same as there you can see so for the get brands name it's just brands not get brand because here we are displaying and what can i do i will just put parenthesis here and parenthesis here so this variable should be this same because in navbar if you go to navbar 
So you can see we are displaying this categories. So that's why this should be same. And for the brands, we are using this brands variable. So here this should be same. And now you can see, and for the single page, we also don't need this one. I will delete this from here. And for brand, I'll just add this parenthesis. And for the get brand, we also don't need this two. And don't delete this third one for the pagination. And this two. And this, I will just come and do it here. And the last one here is categories. So I will just remove them and end. This one is done. Now if we go here and you can see, I have to go back in. And we are not facing any problem at all. Everything is fine. How can we bring this one into here, our shopping cart? Because it is in another directory. And if you can see, our shopping cart is in another directory, so carts then carts. So what I can do here, as we are already from models, bringing this one, I will do from shopping from shop dot products dot routes import brands and then categories and these two. And what we need here in get card. So after the total something we can use like this and we just paste and then I have to give the parenthesis and then I have to use this name of categories and here we can just paste then use it like this. So we don't need any extra query for this one. So let's see how it's working and open your browser here in shopping cart and you can see now we are having this drop downs so and even in everywhere and details yes they are working perfectly now and from here we are okay i have to include this navbar there also in a single page we are not so this is the container i will remove this one here and just go to and copy from this an index and paste it here this navbar now it will be working everywhere if i go to this and you can see and here everything is working so that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye